So real briefly, I want to try to answer two questions that I'm getting from parents who want to know. First question is, can an app be as good as actually having a personal trainer there with you? And the second question is, is there something about my training that is set apart from anybody else's training methods that is a good enough reason for them to choose my app? First and foremost, I'm going to say, obviously because I'm the coach, that these two reasons that I'm going to give you are just the biggest things that I can tell you why I'm a good choice. So for one, the things that I would normally teach in a one-on-one -on -one session, it's going to be in my app. And so one may say if if you're not actually with somebody and, and you're doing what they're instructing you on, how can you be sure that you have it? Well, my whole app is set up like a college course. So that means I bring you from the basics before you do anything complex. And it's because I intentionally lead you that way that makes my app a worth it choice. Now, obviously, if you have a trainer right there working with you on different things, then the trainer can correct and, and have a student to imitate the same motions, the same drills. But if you have an app that's also taking you step by step in a slow enough process, the one-on-one -on -one part, I'm not going to say it becomes unnecessary, but it's the slow building process in the app that makes the habits more concrete and even if you have a trainer, a lot of times when you're paying a lot of money to have a trainer consistently, it still takes a while for those things that you're being taught to be rooted in you. And that's what this app is designed to do. And this, the second question, when it comes down to my training, I have some things in my drills, some abilities when I play that I haven't seen out here. And there's players like me who did not get to the pros who were good enough that have the same thing. And they, they have their own um, situations where they're doing drills and working with kids. I took the time out to make an app out of what I worked on. And there's things in my drills that you're not going to find anywhere else. And they're going to develop the kids. And you can see it in the ones that I've trained already one-on-one. -on -one. But that's the best answer that I can give you is that I have things that people have not used as drills to grow in this game. Now, before I end this, I want to elaborate a little bit on some of the things because it's quite a few things that went in my game that separated me as a player. When you look at the likes of a Kyrie Irving and one of my favorites from back in the day, his name was Jason Williams. The thing that I would point out about Kyrie's game that sets him apart from the other players, particularly is his finishing with the layups that he uses. And a lot of times you hear people talk about layup packages and shot packages. I'm not using those terms because when it comes down to the training, it's what you're doing in the training that makes you capable of making the kinds of shots that Kyrie makes. There's a certain layup routine that Kyrie's not showing to everybody that he does when he's playing a game and he gets to the basket. Even at his height at 6'3", he can get shots over seven feet guys who can really get off the floor. And that's something that separates his game. Jason Williams was very much known to catch his defenders off guard a lot of times with dribble moves and passes. And so there are things that he drilled himself on. and He has his own setup now where he's teaching kids that made him who he was. So for me, I use my full body length in my dribble. So where most people try to keep their dribble within at least a mid range away from their body, I maximize mine and I use weights to strengthen my body where I could handle the dribble far out away from me. But if you look at the drills in my app, they extend out away from the body because I use those spots to create moves that you can't do if you can't dribble with your arms out as wide as I did. So if you're not following a player who's done that, he can't teach you how to use that to your advantage. But the wingspan that you have in the same way that Kyrie uses his spins off the glass to get those shots, when I would make dribble moves using my full body length in the dribbles with control and speed and power, it just created so much space to operate and get wide open shots. And so I had to express that because in my app, if you're asking a question about what it is about my teaching style that can benefit every person, is that your reach is your best friend. 
and I teach you how to maximize that with your ball handling.